Hi everyone, I'm at the Ranger booth and uh, I apologize before for my Tim Holtz video. I guess I had it on unlisted, so it didn't work until I published it after, but now I hopefully people, if this will work, I'm here in the Tim Holtz area and I'm gonna show you some new stuff that he has. These are the old distress inks and then we have the distress sprays, distress stains, sorry and the distress ink which we know then we have distressed oxide inks distressed oxide sprays and here up here we have the new stuff which is distress glaze it is very very cool go watch the video that i just did from tim holtz and there's some new embossing inks and some new embossing dabber and distress pens so it's really cool here are all the samples so you can see I'm gonna go here here are the embossing glazes these are the samples for that and I'm gonna get closer so you can actually see um, the the really cool glaze on top of things then you have these stains which you've seen before so as you know I'm going to move over to the other side just to show you some more samples. The booth looks amazing. You'll see people along the way. Hi there, how are you? There's Sharon. There's some new alcohol inks and soon I'll have Sharon do some alcohol ink designs. Well, let me go to here because there's somebody standing there. So these are the distress inks. I mean, this is like every year, the beautiful samples that Tim Holes has with them. So really nice. And there is a new, oh, there's some new art panels for alcohol ink, which is this set, this one over here. And the other ones that I've done before. This is some of my work. This is me, 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 me. And hi, Nunu. So, this is the alcohol ink stuff. I'm talking over somebody. Sorry about that. There are lots of different things. Oh, this is new as well. It's an alcohol ink air blower. And I will show this later on as well. There is the mixing cups. And there's also clear resin that can be uh, mixed with it as well. There's some alcohol ink pro uh, new ones. And I will show you the difference between alloy and mixatives. Um, Tim Holtz is going to go over that soon in the next video. It might be a bit later on. And all the new colors from alcohol inks that you can see here. I'm gonna go closer so you can actually see the different ones. So really, really cool. And you can see a beautiful display of all the different artists like that people did. So beautiful art. They were sent to different designers for them to do art. And how cool is that? Hi, Laura. Okay. Okay, so there we go. There we go. I'm going to show you the other side. There's some really nice stuff in the booth over here. And the other side as well. People are always running away from the camera. Say hello. There is Dilusions. All the artwork that other artists did. How cool is that? So I'm trying to go really slow. My gimbal is not working again. I mean, it is working, but I can't figure out how to do some of it. So I am going to let it go for now. So there we go. Yes, I like that. So let me go back. I want to show you some other stuff here because I'm trying to... This is the work that Sharon Harris does, Sharon A.K. Harris. She does like, she's like a, the alcohol ink queen and she does just stunning work. That's all done with alcohol inks. How cool is that? And look at the beautiful backgrounds that were done with it as well. Super, super, super amazing. Look at this one, Sharon. I'm like, can't believe that was done with alcohol ink. It's insane. Oh, I think I showed you this wall again. Let's go to the other side. Oh, the new stampers, Anonymous from Tim Holtz. Some new and some old, sorry. I shouldn't say all new. So 
so this is all like the different ones sorry i'm a bit shaky i don't know why my hand gets so shaky i'm trying to hold this in a tripod but i'm moving around right these are the new elements that he's the ideology i'm trying to go as slow as possible the ephemera these i'm sure you've seen them in his live show as well so that's really cool right very nice we're gonna get into dina wakeley's there is some new oh new stickles sorry no not dina wakeley's this is the new stickles and the foil sheets are here there is the gel plate storage and the gel plates this is last year's or two years ago the release and there's this as well the speckled embossing powders and I want to show you, this is a new product the stickles for those of you who love stickles look at that it has stars inside of it and it has look at them I just want to show you because I know people that love card making love how to do this love these stars in them how cool is that and the new texture paste that Tim holds I mean go look at the video that I did with Tim holds he shows this texture paste so it's very very neat <laughs> there's Dina here's some of her beautiful work oh thank you so much Jen you're amazing soon I'm gonna have a live with Dina so stay tuned in a, at 11 o'clock mountain time say hello we're live <laughs> I'm putting Instagram posts. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. She's putting Instagram. Go check out Dina's Instagram while I'm doing this. Scribble sticks. Love those. I use them all the time. And look at the beautiful work. The work. Not work. Work. And the tissue papers I used in so many of my videos. Here are the new chipboard shapes. I love those. This one. I love that one. So cool. And the bird. Oh, this is the one I want to get. That one with the words. The new journal. The one with the. Yeah. I love this. And the new media collage. Oh, I never saw this big journal. Did I always see this? Look at this gigantic journal. Wow. That's crazy. Insanely crazy. And look at the beautiful journal right here on the floor. This is some of her work. Where are the... Oh, there they are. I want to show you the sprays. This is the gloss sprays that I really want to show. Somebody else is doing live. Some of the new stamps. How cool are those? New stamps. Old stamps. yeah we're both doing at the same there's many people videoing at the same time some stencils the new stencils are here which is cool and this is what I really really covet what I want I want these the gloss spray so badly this is what I want if I want anything this is what I want to get the pouring mediums and look at this beautiful journal entry I mean I just would love to just go through this journal it's stunning look at these look at these tags I saw these online they were stunning so this is how the gloss sprays look like they're glossy like acrylic paint so I can't wait to get this and there's some new brushes and a stamping acrylic block so this is something that I really want okay I'm gonna go to this side now you can see Simon there giving a demo and we have Simon Hurley's stamps. All the new ones are labeled with the new stuff. The new stickers so you know which ones they are. And um, thank you so much. And here is some more. And here is some more stencils from... These are not the new ones. Hold on, let me get up. I think he just has new stamps and new ink pads and some die cuts. Oh, that's cool. So I like this. And there's Tiffany. Tiffany, say hi. She's like in between. Say hi to Tiffany, everyone. <laughs> so 
Simon Harley things. And look at his cards. How adorable are these? These are so cool. I love the doggies. I love the doggies. Oh, so cute. Hi, Simon. Say hey. hi to all your fans. How are you? Everybody <laughs> saw you yesterday walking around. I'm coming after to your So this is Wendy Vecchi. Oh, say hi to Wendy. Wendy, you have to say hello. You can't just, just pretend to hide from the camera. I want to show you. You want to tell me about your stuff, your sure. new stuff? Yeah, I would love that. All right, oh, so the mini one. Last year, we introduced the 12-inch station. Huge, huge hit. So this year, we took it down to 7 inches, and it is the stinking cute little tool. Um, same exact construction as the big one, so nice solid steel. The magnets are exactly the same as the original, and it also includes the ruler. Oh, wow. So really nice for card makers because it's smaller. If you want to travel, it's really good. If you're an art journaler, you can slide it between the pages, right? And then you have a good solid stamping oh, surface, so, so your small. images will stamp really well. Um, planner people, it's small enough that you can slide it between the pages, and it's a big, big help. I have a hard time stamping into my art journal. Right, I exactly, always struggle. It's, it's an uneven surface, right? So this gives you a solid surface to stamp so on. So smart. Um, we did a magnetic stamp positioner, and I'm going to be demoing that when I uh, mm -hmm. start my demo. And then the acrylic block that works with this. Cool. And these will work on either one of the stations. Um, the other acrylic accessories are uh, the seven-inch ruler and the twelve-inch ruler. So those are also magnetic and thicker than the ruler that comes with it. So it's really easy to um, draw along there. Use a pencil, you can use a marker, and it's just really, really nice because it's a little bit thicker. Um, and there's a stylus that it, those are brand new too. So there's two in the package, four different size tips on here. And the way I use them is with my liquid pearls. Oh. So these are beautiful, they're so pretty. Um, so what I do is I take my liquid pearls a little bit on my craft sheet, not on my um, make art station. And then I'll just dip my stylus in and then dip add my little dots anywhere I want to add dots. So all those little teeny tiny dots that you see on my art are all the liquid pearls. And they still like gives you like a 3D effect? Yes. Wow. Yes. The, the thing that's really nice about it is it doesn't take forever to dry. So because the dots are small, yeah, two, exactly. two three minutes you're done. So you're not going to stick your hand in it. You're not going to ruin it. So wow. really, really fun. You can really paint nice. with them. You can paint little, little uh, embellishments. So that was fun. I have some samples down here. Yeah, I see that. That's amazing. And I have another sample board. I just want to show the stamps. Hold on. Oh, Look at this. Yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah. Those. <laughs> stamp stencil dice. Yeah. So four new ones for this year. These are retail for fourteen ninety five. Oh wow. So That's it? Yes. That's actually not expensive. No, they're not. So stamps on the first page, dies on the second, and the oh, stencil. Oh, three. Wow. So they're all, all three. Wow, guys, this is really cool. Okay. Because most sets don't come with all three. Right, exactly. And that's why we wanted to be different. So there's, again, the stamps, the dies. Oh, you see, and it's stencils. hard to tell when you're showing it like that. You can't tell unless you're actually doing that. Right, exactly. That's so another beautiful. set here. There's the dies. Oops, I keep pulling this Oh, out. so you had these also last year, yes, I guess. So and I didn't realize that. Just yeah. to, okay, this is the first one. Yeah, and so then four from that show, too. Wow. Very cool. Yep, okay. They've been a lot of fun, and I have another sample board over here. Yeah, I mean, the bag is really oh, good. For is that new? No, that oh, that's not. Yeah, before, I saw it before. I've it's seen. really good for storing the um, magnetic accessories. That makes sense. Yeah. And then some cards over here. Oh, these are your samples. Mm -hmm. Are these all made by you? Uh -huh. right. Like I said, you'll see little dots everywhere. So this is the background that I stenciled, but by adding a, a, a liquid pearl dot in the center, it really makes your background stand out, and you can, you know. It's more, wow. it's more custom that way. I like it a lot. Wow, that's so. So you'll fun. see. I mean, there's dots on everything, but it's just a nice little finishing touch. It does. It does give it a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna come later to your demo table. Right. Trying thank to schedule you. it. Thank you so much, Wendy. Just gonna show you here some new stuff or oh, new archival links and. Are these yours to embossing? Oh, new embossed inks. That's cool. There's new embossed pens I saw. That's cool. Very neat. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get into all oh, the new stickers, which 
the liquid pearls stickers these are nothing new so i'm just going to show you like an overall stuff there is a new white mat the silicone mat it's in the smaller size i wish it was in the bigger size but that's neat as well the small ones oh letter it nothing new here but i just want to show you that everything is a yeah this is cool so you can use the pens to emboss similar to what tim holtz did in the other video now some new dilutions stencils from diane diane reevely and some of her stamps i'm gonna get to the new ones these are the new ones right here okay and look at this how cool is that from this this is actually i just want to show you it's actually cut out it's a cutout but so neat and i love the one at the top there it looks like it looks like it's um sewn in like almost like a sneaker and more here you can see more in this side and there is diane and the beautiful stuff tags and stuff which is done and some of the other stuff on this side paint pens you can hear in the background right <laughs> and here are some of the stencils <laughs> and over here i think i have one more panel to do and then i'll be done and then i'm gonna do dina's demo okay so here is the different dilutions journals you know the ones that i use sometimes in my work there is paint and the sprays are over here with the different swatches sorry i might be going too fast hopefully i'm not going too too fast but um i apologize again about not doing tim holds live i tried to do it live oh there's tim taking a picture and these are the dis the accents okay there we go surfaces like this is tim's stuff so hold on how cool is that so tim holds distress collage examples and mediums and different ones like look at the new one look at the texture of that one you see these are the new ones and this is the crackle one and the crackle white which is the new these i think these two are new he was showing them before and look at it with gold how cool is that the last side is the distress oh this new board this new paper that makes it look like leather he was showing it before and there is the one that is has that wood grain and all the mediums so there's the texture paste i was talking about and the collage medium in a new size and basically all the other stuff that he has that everybody loves so i didn't notice where the tin the new storage tins they are there's new storage tins for the distress inks i don't know where they are but you can see them on my other video so thank you so much everyone hold on let me just turn myself around hi thank you so much for joining me at the ranger inc booth and stay tuned for more videos bye everyone